Hey guys, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will be doing an oil painting. Here I'm just showing you my brushes. Nothing crazy, bought them on eBay. Don't really care about the quality too much, as long as the bristles stay in place. You don't want to have a hairy painting at the end of the day. I will be using Dela Rowney paints, I think that's how you pronounce his name. They are my favourite to use by far. I haven't really tried too many but they're not too expensive and a great quality. And here is my Holy Grail which I use for all of my oil paintings. It's just a regular, I think, either vegetable oil or rapeseed oil. I'm not too sure. It doesn't matter to me. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not using it in the right way but I think it works for me. I honestly use it for everything. I use it to clean my, clean my brushes, spread the paint more evenly, maybe make the paint a little bit thinner. Recently I have purchased ready mixed paint in different tones but I think overall to get the best results it's nice for you to experiment, mix your own skin tones, your own shades, all that stuff and learn as you go along. If you haven't painted before and are looking forward to maybe starting to paint, even experimenting a little bit, I would say I'd recommend oils to start with over acrylics or watercolour. Just because I think it might be cheaper to use watercolour or acrylics, however I think oil is much easier to use for a beginner. I think it's just so blendable and you can work over it, it doesn't dry too fast. So if want to change anything you're free to unlike acrylics which dries within a couple of minutes and if you make any mistakes you can't really fix them i remember doing my gcse's and absolutely hating the painting experience just because i started off with the wrong stuff i think that if maybe i started off with oils first i would have been more confident and i would have continued but I mean everyone learns from the mistakes and it wasn't really introduced to me I just found it as something very scary and I felt like only professionals could use it which is not true but yeah I won't talk over the video too much because it's not too much of a tutorial however I did want to say quickly that I apologize for the camera moving it's swinging from left to right which I find really annoying I haven't actually realized that when I was filming it because I sped up the video I can see the movement as much more prominent than I th thought it would be so I'm not too happy with that but it actually stops at one point and then I think it's much easier to watch that apologizing for that and also my lovely hair is in a way as well which I find really annoying but I also didn't realize that and they're going to buy another tripod I don't think it's good enough. So, sorry guys. Also, as I'm reusing the canvas, I found it easier to paint the background first because I was so distracted by the, the background, the, the images and the sketch that was there prior to me painting this. So I just had to cover it. I usually just start on the main character, sort of the face, rather than the background. The background always leave for last, but I just felt like I was so distracted I had to do this first. I honestly can't remember the last time I've painted with oils or painted at all so I found it a little bit difficult but I really enjoyed this challenge as well because if you take a break from something and you come back to it it's always enjoyable you don't feel like it's a chore you really want to do it and you want to challenge yourself and see how far you've gotten
point I actually think I stopped filming for a while because if I really wanted to go into detail I'd have to have my head over the painting and in that case you wouldn't be able to see what the hell I'm painting so I just decided to stop filming focus on the left eye which I felt I messed up from the start fixed it a little bit and I decided to continue filming
model's hair as well because he wasn't too happy with the scruffy picture so I've just shortened his hair a little bit he needs him up at the end made it a little bit shorter trimmed it a little bit <laughs> I didn't pay too much attention to the chest area. I didn't want it to take away from the face. I kind of wanted the face to just be the detailed part. So I made the chest abstract. Follow my last video. Bye, guys.